The Rock Cafe is steeped in history, which is appropriate as it is located, of course, along historic Route 66. The people of Route 66 have, you know, it's a community now. It's, it's one long community along uh, America. And the stories, I mean, they're, they, they vary. Since the Rock Cafe opened in 1939, it, along with Route 66, through good times and bad, have been through a lot in the ebb and flow of the road. It's amazing. I mean, America has grabbed onto Route 66 and, and you know, joined in the ride with us all. It's, again, refreshing. And now the road and the cafe are sizzling, so let's start with the food. I think our three top items are buffalo burgers, which we that was my mother's idea. Um, she has passed away, so it's going to be something really special. We'll always have the buffalo burger. Our Jaeger schnitzel, which was from my travels along the world, brought that back from Germany and cruise ship days. And so Jaeger schnitzel is something, and spatzel is also something. The day we were there, meatloaf was the special, and of course I cleaned my plate, but I wanted to leave room for the famous Rock Cafe peach cobbler. Honestly, I'd walk over hot coals just to have some, but their bread pudding is also a favorite. It's something that I learned when I went to Louisiana to learn how to cook Cajun food, and, and this lady just would not let me leave her house without teaching me how to make that bread pudding. If you want to go have a meal that's cooked from scratch by people who understand what they're doing and care about what they're doing, if you want to have good fellowship uh, with fellow customers, if you want an experience that maybe people don't uh, think exists anymore in the world we're living in, then come here to the Rock Cafe. It'll be great. It'll be worthwhile. It's also worthwhile to come here to meet the owner, Dawn. She's a hardworking, very nice lady who has a fascinating history herself. But also, did you know she was the inspiration for the character Sally Carrera in the original movie Cars? That's a fact. That all happened uh, very organically as well. Um, Pixar showed up with, with our beloved Michael Wallace in tow and we made the introductions. We didn't know what to expect, but five years later, they came back around and invited everybody to the premiere of the movie. And as we were going into the premiere of the movie, he, John Lasser would pull us aside and tell us who we were. We had no idea that we were characters in that. And since the release of the movie, Route 66 enthusiasts have increased. From 1993 to 2001, when Cars came out, it would have been 80-20, Europeans to Americans. After Cars came out, big thanks to Pixar Animation Studios and everybody involved, um, that we saw it immediately make it a, a change to 60-40. Now it's about 50-50. Some even come here to see the original 1939 grill in the kitchen. We let people go back and take pictures with her. We'll have somebody come over from Germany that says, they'll walk in the door going, can I get a picture with Betsy the Grill? And I'm like, come on. The food here is very delicious and it's kind of fun to watch different people from all over the world come in here. Jerry and his wife, Judy, came here on dates back in the 50s. I love the food here. I had meatloaf today, it was great. And a lot of times we have the Reuben sandwich, it's delicious. Walking into the Rock Cafe is like walking into history. You'll have some mighty tasty food and have fun, of course. In fact, Don says they have a slogan that says just that. She wants you to feel at home. We have a slogan at the Rock Cafe called Food, Fun, and History. Um, so we live that every day here. We want people to feel like the, your grandmother made your bacon this morning. We want to make you feel like your grandmother flipped that egg for you. That's how we want you to feel at the Rock Cafe. 